Wow, so after doing all this backtracking, my advice to you all is do it right the first time. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Palette Idea Edition. Yes, I am back. I'm 100% excited right now because I don't know if you noticed, but I have some new additions to the garage. And that is, boom, the Canadian flag. Yes, 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 we the North. And then I also have the Australian flag. And I have them represented because they are a part of the top three countries that view us, view our channel. So we wanted to acknowledge you all, saying thank you, paying homage to you with your presence in our garage. And normally, the flags that we have here are the places in which my wife and I have gone um, and done missions at so we've gone to Aruba we've gone to the UK of course America Bahamas and Kenya so that is why those flags are here but now we just expand it uh, to being representative of our top three countries that view us so United States of course being number one Canada being number two and Australia being number three and we want to say thank you thank you thank you we love you all we thank you for viewing and you know if you're viewing from another country let us know in the comment section below and you know if you become like top three in our analytics and things like that we will acknowledge you represent you and find a space for you in our garage so looking forward to you all maybe i'll come and visit you help you with your palettes or whatever it is that you do that you watch me do okay so that'll be cool anyway let me get to the backyard because there is a lot of work to do <laughs> All right, so thanks to one of my subscribers who messaged me privately suggesting and stating that I probably want to raise my uh, pallets off the ground so that it will prevent them from rotting and things like that. I was like, you are so right. So know that I don't proclaim to know it all, but what I will say is everything that I do know, I do look to share it with you all um, on this channel. So hey, I don't know it all. I do learn and I will take your advice. And so that is something that I'm going to do today to make sure my palette deck is everything that it needs to be because we are about to start painting and things like that and I want to make sure everything is right legit and on point before we of course invest the money that we will invest into this deck and have the fun that we have and things like that so I have my uh, blocks my um, concrete blocks that I'm going to put on the bottom of the palette deck so what I'm going to do is every four corners you will see a concrete block placed on the ground and then and the pallet that put on top and then we can put the furniture back so i'm gonna have to remove the furniture off the deck we'll remove the pallet boards off the ground level everything out put the concrete blocks and then we'll be good to go and then from there i'm going to do something pretty cool um with the top of the sectional i'm gonna of course put some um wood on top to cover up these holes but then i'm um, thinking like maybe i shouldn't do that for each one of them so for like one side i'm going to do like a bottle holder and um that's going to be pretty cool so i'm gonna put a bottle holder on the inside so you want to see how that takes place and then i'll cover the rest of them i don't know i might put bottle holders for all of them because i mean you can never have enough like bottle holders cup holders holders to hold your drinks and things because the table might not always be here we may move the table to do a little dancing situation and you want somewhere to put your cup so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of there um, make sure everything else is shared up as you know different people have suggested different things so that's what this video is all about I mean it's something that I don't want to do however it's something that I need to do like I'm not looking forward to doing it so that's why I'm doing a lot of talking because I know these pallets are gonna be so heavy because it just rained and uh, so they're gonna be a little wet and things like that but the work has to get done because I do want my family safe and those who participate in this pallet deck paradise okay so let me go ahead and do it and subscribe while i'm doing this video because you want to be a part of this family we can learn together grow together and with you subscribing we can be at 10k by the end of this summer okay so let's do that and um y'all i really don't want to do this but i'm gonna do it for my family in australia and my family in canada Whew, that gave me a boost let's go
all right so now that i have the hard part behind me um you know which was getting the blocks that was no joke my little wheelbarrow cart situation did not work out how i wanted it to and never did i thought i would see my pallet deck look like this again either way you have to get it done okay so the way i'm gonna go about it is work from the back up because i will be like switching out some of the boards because crystal liked some more than others so i try to hide some of the ones that she didn't like more so in the back and middle section that'd be covered by the table and things like that and then you know i'll just work my way up so in order to get it done i had to use well i have to use 20 or 20 you know concrete squares i have 12 pallets in total so you know each corner i had you know 20 yada 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 quick math that's what i'm gonna have to get done because of course some uh pallets will be like four in a section so if none of that makes sense let me just go ahead and show you as i get it done uh switching the ones out that i want to switch out and things like that and i feel like i feel like we should have like a halftime break with the kids because i'm doing it for them and i want to be reminded of their beauty and their splendor so let's see the kids uh-oh there's little man. Let's see. There he is. Hey, brother. Hey, man. Oh. Uh-oh. Hey, man. Hey, brother. Ooh. Ooh. What is she doing? Oh, my gosh. Hey, man. Hey. 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 Oh, man. Kids are so exciting, man. Just gave me the boost of energy necessary to take it to the next level, okay? So, let's go ahead and get this party started. Wow, so after doing all this backtracking, my advice to you all is do it right the first time. Okay, learn from my mistake, do it right the first time. Ideally, you will want to put like some mesh down to keep, you know, weeds and things from growing up. Obviously, I really don't have that problem over here, so that's why I'm not using it. But elevate your pallet boards. Don't put them directly on the ground so you won't have to deal with this, okay? So I'm moving the pallet boards. I was seeing a lot of things that, you know, even beyond water damage, there were a lot of bugs down there. Um, possibly termites but i don't want to say termites but just bugs in general i think they were like mud bugs there's a lot of like dirt and mud down there so that could have potentially ate away at my pallet boards and things like that so elevate okay the more little story is elevate we have to do better have to raise the bar and raise the pallets while you're doing it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put the center blocks down um not center blocks but the you know square cement blocks put it down level everything out i'm gonna probably have to do some grading over here so i have my little handy dandy ready and I have my leaven lev I have my leveler as well to level out the center blocks and things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and get this party started and then you know we'll go from there so I can put everything back at the little bottle holders and things like that to the top of the pallet sectional and uh you know I'll be finished it's it's hard work should have done it right the first time or else I would not be here so do it right first time I can't say it enough subscribe yeah <laughs> Thank you.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I take that back. Moving those blocks was not the hardest part. Honestly, doing that was the hardest part because not only was I applying the boards back, but I was also leveling everything off as it was going back because at the end, there was like a slight slope. <sighs> Guys, I am drenched. Like, PSA, service announcement. Do it right the first time learn from me okay and um if you want to learn more from me go ahead and subscribe to the channel um just give me a thumbs up too thumbs up give me motivation that you all not only see what i'm doing but you're experiencing it with me so go ahead smash that like button i would greatly appreciate it um now i'm going to put back the furniture as it was um as tired and exhausting as i am i'm gonna put it back starting with the pallet sectional and then the table and the bench and then i'll go ahead and put the cup holders in there bottle holders things like that at the top of the pallet sectional and ladies and gentlemen i i'm gonna go eat because i'm hungry and i'm tired Burst of energy because of you. Thank you all. Oh, you're the greatest. Yeah. All right, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, so now we are at the home stretch and honestly, it's pretty cool because now when I walk up on the pallet deck I have a little step up, which is a nice little touch. Uh, make sure I hold my baby boy's hand when he walks on the deck But other than that man, I like it pretty secure I've walked around it several times and I am very excited with how the outcome and how everything turned out So now let's go to the cup holder scenario situation Maybe everyone doesn't have an opportunity to get to the table and it is one like a nice little chill spot to put a cup holder So I'm gonna pull one over here here and then I'll put covers on that side um, but if this turns out to be like a valuable situation then I'll easily install some and in the other two pallet backs okay so you all know my method don't throw away your scrap wood you will always find a use for it if you just keep on doing what you're doing so I have a piece of wood from previous project don't even know what it's from but it was outside so hey I'll use it and what I'll do is just stick it into the area like so right and then I'll screw it on both sides I'll do one here one here and I'll put a board down and I'll make sure I'll drill like holes in it so it can drain when it rains and things like that it doesn't like hold water or anything you don't want those problems you don't want those problems um, <laughs> so I'll drill it on both sides put it in here I'll do the same thing for this side drill it, you get one boom get another one boop, boop, and it'll be done all right so i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about if what i just said didn't make sense okay so i'm gonna have to go cut these boards to fit in the area here and then i will go ahead and make it happen okay let's do it together and subscribe so now i'm just gonna take my exterior deck screws that i usually use for most of my projects out here on the deck and uh place it in here like so the bottom so it'll be nice and flush uh, take the screw, put it about center way, center point, eyeball it. Go for it, nice and snug, take my other piece. This one may be a little bit more difficult being that it's uh, nice and tucked inside, but you know, it's nothing that we can't do. This one I have to do with my left hand. Pre-drill it a little bit, it goes a long way. And then you take your boards. Like I said, I just drill some holes in it just to help with uh, water drainage. Slide it on in there. Oh man, I didn't check the width. It's okay. Well, make sure you check your width, huh? I do not want to make another cut. I'll just get a hammer for that. But in the meantime, I'll work on the next side. And um, so the trick for this side, because I've already like screwed in on that side, is just to get smaller blocks. Again, blocks that I've used before. Don't remember the project, but thankful that I kept my scraps, okay? Always keep your scraps. Let's go edit like so. Do a little pre-drill. Learn as you go. And this is a valuable lesson that I recommend. Pre-drill. Make life so much easier. Again, you want it to be flush so you don't see it at the bottom. Right, take 
this side. Probably have to go at it upside down. Well, no, I can't pre-drill this one. So learn from me, can't always pre-drill. And this side is slimmer. Oh my gosh, don't do this to me, pallet. It's the beauty of working with wood. Things change. See if I can approach it from the bottom. Okay, getting some footing this way. I'm gonna go get my hammer and I'll be right back. All right, so now I have my hammer. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, knock out two of my issues. This is so snug, I might not even have to uh, screw it. But for the safety of uh, a good time, I will. I could have pre-drilled the block itself. So when you're doing this, remember you can pre-drill the block. Can't do it uh, ahead of time. Again, I don't know it all, but what I do know, I will share with you. That's in there. And then I have my piece of wood again with the three notches that you see. Oh, this went in nice and smooth. Thank you, Lord. All right, bottle holder. Let me now push this one in. Voila. So now this is what it looks like. <clears throat> when you have a little party, people need somewhere to put their drinks. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bottles up here. And uh, probably seven over here as well. So boom, there's your bottle holder, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so if you think it's yourself like cup holder situation, that's not really what I need. Then you can always just take a piece of pallet wood, screw it on top, and um, you'll have your finished product. Now I'm using screws too, because like I said, I haven't used the cup holder scenario before, so I may like it. I may want to do it over here as well, or you know, I may not and just want to just go ahead and cover it up. But nonetheless, I usually use screws so that I can change my mind, uh, interchange things and just work with what I have as it goes. Um, knowing that with wood, things change, wood breaks, wood chips, wood rots. So you want to make sure that, you know, you have the flexibility to do what you want to do with your decking, your pallet and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw a screw in each piece. So, you know, just a piece of wood. And then, you know, you have your boards that hold all the pallets together. I'm gonna just one, two, three, or just use two. I mean, it's really not gonna move. So I'll just use two, save two screws at the end of it, and uh, we'll be done. So let me go ahead and screw this on. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is all done. I have now secured the top, you know, and then I have the bottle holders over there, but you can see the bottles just resting. And I'm gonna let it stay there. Uh, looks like it may rain today. So I just wanna see, watch it, make sure that the uh, bottles don't like float out. And if they do float out, then I know that I need to drill more holes into the board itself just to allow for more drainage because I'm not trying to hold water. I'm just trying to hold bottles, okay? And it doesn't take much to make sure the bottle doesn't fall. But anyway, thank you all. This feat has been woo, cumbersome, tiresome, and honestly, I need a bath, okay? I'm gonna soak in some Epsom salt. I earned it, don't talk about me. But if you have any comments, please comment below. I am more than happy to receive any criticism, any suggestions, any thoughts that you all may have. Because like I said before, and I'll say it again, I don't proclaim to know it all. But what I do know, I will share it with you each and every time I get the opportunity. So as you know, please share with me and we will grow together. Man, I'm so excited to paint this bad boy now. I'm gonna have to put a border around it because there are some, you know, open gaps and things and I wanna just make sure everything is nice and neat and uh, critters don't crawl under, okay? So I'm gonna fortify this bad boy. Probably won't put a video up unless you need one. Um, let me know in the comment section below. But if not, then I'll just keep it rolling, okay? And um, yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to start eating on the pallet deck and having parties and doing lights and all kind of stuff that you all are suggesting. So again, I love you. I thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you for journeying with me. And until next time, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch a couple of these videos, okay? Watch this one first and then this one after you subscribe, okay? Video, video, subscription. Which one? Video, video, subscription, okay? And then we're done. I love you all. Thank you. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, all my friends in Canada, all my friends in Australia, I hope to see you soon. Peace.